All of the dirt that was excavated, um, that work was actually done uh, largely by the sheriff's office uh, employees, and then all of the excavated dirt um, was brought to the medical examiner's area that was set up for sifting. Um, the sifting happens through screens that are about two feet uh, by two feet and um, have partitions in them of about a quarter inch so that all of the dirt goes through the screen but any remains would be found as we sift through all of that material. The idea is that uh, human remains, uh, teeth or very small bones, could be missed potentially if you did not sift all of the dirt. And so sifting all of that dirt ensures that we did not miss any small remains that might have been present. I believe we had reached a depth of 29 inches or so uh, in our excavation. And during the course of that excavation, those 29 inches, did you or any member of the medical examiner's office find anything of significance? No, we did not. There is an area of undisturbed clay. Can you describe for the court what you mean by that and what the significance of that finding was? Well, essentially there was a change in the soil such that there was um, a layer, a thick layer of clay that was undisturbed, that had not um, been mixed with soil uh, through digging previously. and. So we stopped at that point because of the fact that um, if it had been breached previously, we would have seen disturbance in that um, clay level. And that decision to stop at that area, would that be consistent with your practice in other digs, other forensic digs that you've been a part of? Yes. And would that be consistent with best practices or protocol in the area of the medical examiners? To my knowledge, yes.